Hi, my name is Jeff Erickson. I'm a student at Milwaukee Area Technical College, and I'm going to show you today how to set up a remote desktop connection. Okay, one of the first things we want to do is create a new connection. Set up an advanced connection. Accept incoming connections. This is what you need to be able to come into your computer from the internet. Just click next on this. Allow virtual private connections, you'll notice. Yes. Click next through that. Next, make sure you click on yourself here so that you can allow yourself access to come in and anybody else you want to allow access to it. It's important to note here that you have to have a, assign yourself a user ID and a password so that you can access it remotely otherwise anybody else can get in here and I don't think you want that to happen click next again Again, click next to this that's all fine as the defaults finish Now you can see we have a new incoming connection set up here. Next, let's go to our firewall settings. We're going to turn them off for now, but we're going to start programming our exceptions in right now as it is. We want remote assistance checked and remote desktop. Remote desktop should be set if you're using Windows XP should be set for port 3389. If you're using Windows Vista, it should be 3390. Now we're not going to turn them on yet. We're going to turn them on after we get everything working. It's just a little bit easier for all of us. Next we're going to go out to our router. You'll notice our external address 24.183.138.103. Have to change a few more things here, though. We have to set up port forwarding. And our local IP address on our machine here, I happen to know it's set up as 11. So 192.168.0.11, come on. Oops. No, I'm locked. <laughs> Hit add. Okay, so that's done. Next, we go to the DMZ host. That also has to be set in here so that it does forward it directly to this PC again from the router. So guess what? It's already set in here because I did put it in here earlier when I tested it. So 192.168.0.11. So that's the one that it would go to. That's also required if you're going to be setting up a, a, um, a website on your own home PC or if you want to have FTP on it or something like that too. So you'll need that there too. Next, we're going to reboot the router since everything's applied. Next, we should also go back and go to our control panel here. Go to system. You need to have these turned on. See the remote tab up on top here. Let's go up there. Allow remote assistance and allow remote desktop. Pretty easy. Just check those. Select users. If you want to add some more users beside yourself, now's the time to do it. You can just type in the users. Um, 
I'm already in there, so there's no point to add it in again. So at this point, I'm done. I believe we should be able to allow access into it. So. Got my cell phone here trying to connect to it right now. Okay, at this point, I'm going to press the enter key on my phone and I've now taken control of it on my cell phone. Okay, you didn't get to see this part before, so I'm going to show it to you real quick. If you go to Start, then All Programs, then go to Accessories, then go to Remote Desktop Connection. That's how you can get into this. Now, the IP address of my gateway uh, to the external world is this, and it's got the port forwarding set up for it. So now, at this point, I can go and hit Connect. And guess what? That's how I get in. So that's how you can set it up to access your PC at work or school. Thank you. Have a great day.